Hi guys, Musa Los Fitness here. Today's video, we are going to be talking about progressive overload. Progressive overload, Musa. What is it? Don't worry, I'm here. Let me tell you what it is. Progressive overload is basically making progress over a period of time. So, if you want to get stronger, then obviously you're going to have to focus on strength exercises. If you want to build muscle, you're going to have to focus on the volume, the reps, and stuff like that. And endurance is almost the same. You just bang out a lot of higher reps within the 13 to 20 range. The muscle range is normally 8 to 12 reps, and the strength is normally around 4 to 7 reps. Unless you want to go do your 1 rep max, then obviously that's a 1 rep. But you want to be making progress over time. And there's a lot of people, you might be watching this video, you might be one of them, that go to the gym, they've been lifting the same weight for the last year or so, and then complaining about why their bodies haven't changed, their physiques haven't developed. At the end of the day, just going to the gym, doing the same thing, you are gonna stay the same. That's just facts, like there's nothing about it. If you're eating the same, or you're eating worse, you're gonna put on weight, and you're still gonna just, gym numbers not going up. You have to make progress. In order to make progress, you have to make progress in the gym as well. Your numbers need to go up, whether that's weekly, monthly, yearly. Just you also have to be patient as well, but your numbers need to go up. And obviously, if you're a new beginner in the gym, I think it's easier when you're a newbie because you're fresh. You're new to the gym and you start off with like 10 kg. The next week, you could probably hit 12.5. The week after that, 15. Your numbers start to go up really quick, but I guess when you get to the more advanced level, it's difficult so then you have to start manipulating numbers and there's different ways of doing progressive overload one is doing obviously your three sets and you do 10 reps with one weight and the next week you increase the weight and you do increase the weight by like 2.5 kg and you do again 10 reps of the weight you did the week previous week um, two sets of that and then the last set you add that extra 2.5 that's one way of doing progressive overload. Or you could do the same way that you did before with the 10, 10, 10 and try and squeeze an extra set in. So instead of doing three sets of 10, you're doing four sets of 10. That's still progress. Or you can increase the weight by 2.5 kg. Depending on how you feel, you might try it out at the 2.5 kg and you feel like, oh, this is a bit too light, I can do this. Then you might increase it to like five. But instead of doing the three sets of 10, you could do four sets of eight still making progress because overall rep excuse me overall the reps are going up and things like that or you could do like pyramid training so you go all the way up to your heaviest set and then come back down things like that it's different ways of manipulating the progress believe it or not someone like me i've never taken like a piece of paper or pen to the gym to track my numbers i've just always had the numbers in my head and some people can do it some people can't it depends. If you're constantly consistent, you're going to know your numbers. It's just, you just got to know it because you're going to the gym all the time and the numbers are going to be in your head. But if you're one of them ones that go to the gym two, three times a week, it's pretty easy for you to forget the numbers you did four, five days ago. You know what I mean? So, advise you to try and keep track of your numbers and try and make, take steps, little steps. You don't want to rush it and overdo it, but you want to make progress. You want to lift heavier in order to build muscle. You need to create that muscle damage. And the muscle fibers need to be broken down in order for you to rest and grow. But if you're just doing the same, our bodies adapt really quick. This is the thing that people don't understand. Muscle, to build it, takes a lot of work. For you to lose it, it's exactly the same. It takes a lot for you to lose your muscle. Yes, the tissue might go down, but once you go back to the gym and pump up, it's going to go back up. So if you're going to the gym here in the same way, over and over and over and over again, your body's gonna be like, I know what you're gonna do today. You're going to the gym, you're gonna probably pick up the 10s, and then you might pick up the 12.5s, I feel like that's too heavy, you're gonna go back to the 10s. Your body's like, oh, I know what you're gonna do, so there's no need for me to grow. But if you start hitting it with that heavyweight, pounding it, and all that stuff, it's like, oh, yo, 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 what's going on? We need to adapt real quick, we need to get up in this guy's level, or he's gonna kill us. So that's, that's basically what progressive overload is. You need to create that muscle damage, you need to, add more reps in some places, add more heavier weights, you know what I mean, stuff like that. If the heavier you go, then obviously reduce your rep range to like four to seven and try and do more sets. So when you're doing the four to seven, try to do like five sets instead of doing the three, because then you only get 15 reps, which is not that, 15, 15 to 21 reps, that's not really that great, you know what I mean? You wanna get a lot of volume in and curate that damage 
And that's basically it, man. That's basically progressive overload. You want to make progress over time. If it's weekly, that's great. If it's monthly, that's still progress. You don't want to be stuck in the same position. That's just, it's not going to benefit you in the long run. And if you're looking to build muscle or get stronger, this is, and this is the only way you can do it. And yeah, it's like cardio. When you do cardio, it's the same thing. If you do cardio 20 minutes and you've been doing that for like a week or a week or so, and then the second week you do the same thing, you feel like it gets easier. It's just easier for you to do. That's because your body's adapted. That's like, oh, 20 minutes, that's nothing. We got this. Blah, blah, blah. But when you increase it like 35, 40, but it's like, oh, what is this? You know what I mean? And after a week, your body's like, 40 minutes, ah, that's nothing. We got this. Blah, blah, blah. So things like that's basically progressive overload. And plus our bodies adapt really quick with a lot of people don't know this. They think like, nah, my body can't keep up. Oh, trust me, it can. It's the mind that gives up first that's the first thing that gives on your mind so you just have to put your mind in the right place try and make progress and you guys will be all right i promise you so that's it for today that was a quick video here progressive overload that's what it is make that progress over time and i'm out miss love fitness don't forget to comment share subscribe to the channel support your boy i'm out catch you in the next video